The man charged in this case is accused of getting money from COVID-19 relief funds illegally using false information. He's also charged in connection to a bank robbery approximately a year ago in Newton. We previously reported on that robbery here on WHKY. A federal grand jury sitting in Charlotte returned a criminal indictment against 35-year-old Spencer Denard Rickerson of Claremont, charging him with wire fraud and bank robbery. According to allegations in the indictment, between June 30th of 2020 and March 20th of 2021, Rickerson used false information to apply for a Paycheck Protection Program, or PPP loan, and multiple economic injury disaster loans, or EIDL, guaranteed by the Small Business Administration under the Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security, or CARES Act. To obtain the PPP loan, the indictment alleges that Rickerson submitted a fraudulent application for a non-existent company that contained a number of falsehoods, including the purpose of the loan and the company's payroll costs. The indictment also alleges that Rickerson submitted fraudulent applications for several loans under the EIDL program in which he provided fake information about the number of company employees and gross revenues. As a result of the fraudulent PPP and EIDL loan applications, Rickerson allegedly received more than $74,000 that was intended for businesses that were affected negatively by the coronavirus pandemic. In addition to the fraudulent loan scheme, according to allegations in the indictment, on March 18th of last year, Rickerson committed an armed robbery of a BB&T bank at 12 North Main Avenue in Newton. These are photos from that bank robbery. This is surveillance footage from that date. Rickerson was placed into federal custody. The wire fraud charge carries a maximum prison sentence of 20 years, along with a $250,000 fine. The bank robbery charge carries a maximum sentence of 25 years in prison and a $250,000 fine. Reporting from Catawba County for WHKY-TV News, I'm Rob Eastwood.